this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver, good morning, Polly Reindeer, and good morning, Fizzy Elephant, wherever Fizzy Elephant is this morning. <laughs> As you can see, the whole gang's here, and that is because we're going to be playing my brand new explosive minigame in the, the Funland, uh, which we just finished building in the, the last episode, and <laughs> here is Fizzy Elephant moonwalking into my bedroom with style. That's what I like to see in the morning. <laughs> right then, let me go and eat my breakfast. Something else I like to see in the morning. Nom, 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 nom. Lovely. Barnaby, you can stand up and uh, you can follow me. And uh, we are going to be playing the, the brand new mini game. But of course, before we do that, we have to do my morning rituals. <laughs> go pick a dog and of course, add someone to the love garden. And today, the person I'm adding to the, the love garden is Cody. And the reason I'm adding Cody is because he sent me this picture of the birthday cake he got on his seventh birthday. And you can see it's a Minecraft style cake, but it's inside a paper cutout version of my bedroom. And it makes the cake look massive compared to the, the tiny little stampy in the background. And I thought it was really cool. I wanted to say thanks for sending me the, the picture. Late happy birthday and welcome to my love garden. Right then, I'm going to go and grab Duncan and Mittens and Fizzy. Don't run around my love garden without wearing your trousers. What are you thinking? Oh, I, I know what Fizzy's doing. You see, because the idea of the game is we are trying to blow each other up with TNT. And to make the game fair, uh, we need to, to make sure that no one has any armor on. So I have no stampy style boots on, uh, as you may have noticed. And uh, yeah, Fizzy's going to have uh, none of his armor on. And then William Beaver, I'm afraid at some point, as delightful as your outfit looks, you are going to, <laughs> to, to have to take it off just to, to make the, the game fair for, for everyone. Armor or no armor. So yeah, this is the way the, the game works at all. Fizzy just left his uh, his clothes out. Oh, I didn't oh, I accidentally put them on. <laughs> I just meant to, to put them in my pocket. There we go. Yeah, so the way the game works is there's a giant obsidian maze that we uh, we built in the, the last couple episodes. And you need to either defeat all of the other players by blowing them, uh, blowing them up with uh, the team or if uh, you don't want to do that you can also try and blow up the other team's end crystals there's going to be two end crystals uh, in each team's base and if you're able to, to blow both of them up uh, then you're going to win the, the game that way so it's kind of the first team to do, e uh, to do either of those two objectives uh, will be the, the overall winners so it's a, it's a relatively simple game I think it's going to be a really fast game so we did a, a little test with a, a 1v1 and uh, that was really fast and I think it's going to be even faster uh, with, uh, with two players but we haven't tested it we haven't given it a, a test to go so uh, this is going to be our, our first time finding it out so uh, Doug and the Mittens you can kind of teleport behind me and then uh, everyone else can uh, teleport as well <laughs> I think William and Fizzy are just enjoying running around not wearing their, their armor for once <laughs> oh dear right then let's uh, jump into the, the teleporter then and uh, yeah I'll see everyone else on the, the other side right here we go right then we should have just about arrived at the, the fun land now so let's go and uh, head to the, the game there are a few additions that I made to it and it's got a name now as well by the way, if you remember, up until now, it's always just been called the game with the TNT, but now it has a proper name, and I decided to call it Bombs Away. Uh, one, because you use TNT, like, just to explode things like bombs, and also just saying Bombs Away at the start of every round, I think, is going to be good fun. So, yeah, this is how it ended up. The only thing I've really changed is you can see that I built up the walls around the outside, uh, like, around the, the bases and all of the, the side walls as well, uh, as well, just to, to hopefully minimise the damage that the game could cause. Like, in our tester game, we accidentally kind of blew up some of the, the wall back there, so hopefully uh, an extra couple blocks out of obsidian uh, should be enough to, to keep all of the the explosions safely inside of the the game area so the way we're going to, to do the tournament is we're going to start off by doing a, a 2v2 uh, it's going to be me and uh, William Beaver uh, against Polly and Fizzy and then the winners of that are going to face up against each other to see who's going to be first and second place and then the losers of that uh, will face against each other to see who's going to be third and fourth uh, assuming we have a uh, time to uh, yeah to, to do that as well so that's going to be kind of what the the plan is so uh, do you want to, to go and join Polly on the the other side fizzy uh, William you can join me over here we only have 20 blocks of TNT in the game so you've got to kind of choose when you want to, to use your TNT you can either kind of rush and use it straight away or try and uh, save it up but we have 40 blocks between us so uh, we should be uh, okay so right then 
I think that's uh, everything that I need to, to say. Everyone should be in their ready positions at their doorways uh, so we can go and begin the, the first game. And we will begin that first game in three, two, one, bombs away! Right, let's go and charge in here. I need to decide whether I want to, to be aggressive or not. I know, I can see Polly. I can see Polly. Right, I'm going to play some some TNT to, to try and block them off from uh, uh, from this area. I kind of blocked myself back a little bit here as well, though. But I can place the, the TNT through the, the windows and try and surprise them that way. And oh, everyone suddenly charged forward. Everyone suddenly charged forward. I can see Polly heading to, to that side there. Maybe I can try and uh, and uh, trick her and block her off when she tries to leave the, the area. And I can see Fizzy as well. Oh no, that's one of our end crystals down. That's one of our end crystals down. That is not good. The other one seems to be holding her intact though. And oh no, that one's taken down as well. And both of their side are still up, which means that we lost the round. That's one point uh, to, to Polly and Fizzy. And sadly, we didn't destroy any of the, the end crystals. <laughs> that round so ah, not the um not the best showing from from us there i think i was being too defensive i think i was trying to to, to stay back too much and uh, it should have charged forward but i was just really trying to to keep uh, our end crystals safe so yeah let's go and uh, uh, exit the 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 game uh if you don't know how to get up the game by the way i realize that not everyone knows there's uh mine carts that you can uh, jump up and sit in uh, in order to to get out of the the game to to start the the next round and uh, yeah let me just go and um replace down the uh, well let's go grab some tnt first so i need 20 blocks of tnt then let's go and grab some of these end crystals as well and you've got to be really careful placing these down because if you place these down in the the wrong place uh, things can uh, accidentally get a little bit explosive and that's uh, <laughs> not a, a good thing to, to have happen well it's fine to have explosions but you kind of want it to be inside of the the game rather than blowing up the the entire base so they've won the first round we're going to do a, a best out of three uh to, to kind of see who's going to win this first round so that means William Beaver. If we lose this round, then we've lost. So we need to bring our A games. Make sure you got uh, your 20 blocks uh, of TNT ready, and uh, we should be uh, ready to, to go straight into the, the next round. And we will begin that next round in three, two, one, bombs away! All right, let me try and be a little bit more aggressive, and let's just try and charge in as fast as we can. Maybe leave some TNT as I go in case anyone's following me. And what you can do is, oh, I'm getting a bit confused. There we go. That's where I need to place the TNT. You don't actually need to to place it in the, the gap. You can place it slightly in front of it and it's still able to, to blow it up and then that way you're able to do it quicker. And oh, I think William Bleaver blew up, this, blew up this side. Oh, we did it. Look, we blew up both of theirs before they blew up any of ours. And I gotta be careful because there's still TNT <laughs> blowing up absolutely everyone. Whoa, that one really nearly got me there. <laughs> so yeah, what you can do now. And oh, I think Fizzy got taken out. You can see Fizzy's gone up there. Fizzy got taken out by William Beaver. I think that's how we were able to, to win. <laughs> The game has had its first victim. So yeah, instead of placing the TNT in the hole, it's easier just to, to place it on like any of these three blocks. And then that way it's a little bit less fiddly to, to do it that way uh, uh, as well. So right then, looks like they did blow up both of our end crystals, but it was after we blew up theirs. So uh, let's go and uh, reset the, the game then, shall we? We can go and grab the, uh, the rest of our TNT and go and replace the, the end crystals. But this does mean that the score is now one to one. So that means that whoever wins this game uh, is gonna have won the, the 2v2s. And then we can kind of move into the, the, the final rounds where we can have the, the, the 1v1. So let's go and grab these end crystals here. Be really careful placing that one down there. <laughs> and then go and place this one up at the, the top here. And you can see just how quickly it is to, to reset this game. It's actually, it, I, I was worried that the game would be kind of too expensive in the fact that like, after every game, you need to, to use more end crystals and stuff. But end crystals are so easy to, to craft. And then if you have a good end spawner to get gunpowder, like you can just get stacks and stacks and stacks of TNT like with no problem whatsoever. And you could also, if you don't have it as much, just save the game before you start. And then once you've used it all, just load up the, the game again and you can just go and play again immediately and do it that way as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's go into the, uh, the the decider for the 2v2. Have they replaced their end crystals all? They need to, to replace the end crystals. See on your side there, Fizzy? Uh, you need to, to place the, the end crystal on the, the top uh, there as well. And uh, once they've placed that back down, uh, yeah, we'll be ready to, to do the, the decider. So William Beaver, I think we need to, to come up with some sort of strategy. So I think one of us should try and defend to either slow them down or take them out while the other attacks. I tell you what, do you want to attack William Beaver, seeing as you seem to do well last time? You go straight after both their end crystals. I'm going to go and try and either slow them down or take them out. I'm going to go and try and set up some sort of ambush uh, that they won't be expecting. 
marketing uh, to, to try and uh, surprise them that way. So let's have a little bit of, uh, of cake. Let's see, have they put down their end crystal? They have. Right then, this is the, the final 2v2 round. We'll begin in three two, one, bombs away! Right, let's charge down into the, the middle, and uh, let's see if we can uh, set up a, a bit of a, an ambush to, to try and get them. Oh, back off, William Beaver, back off, back off. No, William Beaver, back off! There's a lot of TNT around here. There is a lot of TNT. Right, let me just spread this all over the place. Oh, I nearly blew myself up there. <laughs> right, did anyone get past? I don't think anyone was able to, to get past me, and whoa! I just blew myself up! <laughs> I think I'm causing more danger to myself than others, and oh no, they blew up that side. They blew up one of the, the sides, and oh no, there's more TNT there. I gotta run away. Oh, I don't know if that's my TNT or someone else's. Oh, but look, they haven't got this one yet. They haven't got this end crystal. Right, let's spread out the, the, the TNT all over that area there and keep holding them back. There's one end crystal on their side. And oh no! This side has blown up. <laughs> that was so close though. Ours was still there, but that one had blown up. There was literally like half a second in that game. That game was unbelievably close. I can't believe how close that round ended up being. <laughs> Good job, William Beaver. You did your job perfectly. You got straight over there and you destroyed both their towers brilliantly. My job, I didn't do quite so well. I, I seem to, to end up blowing up myself more than I blew up anyone else. <laughs> Right then, let's uh, let's go and set up for the, the the next round then. Well, I guess we should do William Beaver going up against me this time because then we can see who's going to be third and fourth and then we can go and do the, the grand final last. So, uh, William Beaver, uh, I'll go to the, the red side. If you go to the, the, the white side, William Beaver, and if you just go and place down the, the end crystals uh, on that side uh, to, to get that side ready. And uh, yeah, we can go in uh, to, to do a, a 1v1. So 1v1s are very different because you still need to blow up two end crystals so it's actually probably easier to defend just because of how much longer it takes to, to blow up both of them so I think it's it's more of a, a good option to instead of just charging straight for the other team's base if you can just take out the other player you have won like if you're able to, to trap them in a corner and take them out then you're able to, to win the, the game immediately but I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do so we are going to do a best of three so I have a, a little bit of leeway to, to kind of work out exactly what I want to do but it looks like all of the, the end crystals are in place so we will begin the round in three, two, one, bombs away! Right, let's go into the, the middle. I didn't see which doorway he entered from, so I have no idea where he's going to, to be. Let's put down some some defensive TNT now, and there we go. Did you see that? I was able to, to back him off with that TNT, and oh, okay, I hurt myself a little bit there. No, no! <laughs> I got blown up! <laughs> Once again, I'm not entirely sure if that was from my TNT or his. I think it was a mixture. I think I kind of got bounced backwards by mine and then knocked into his. Overall, that round was just a little bit of a mess. <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at this game. Right, let's go up for the, the, the next round then. All of the, the end crystals are still in position, so all I need to, to do is go and grab a, um, a little bit more TNT uh, just to, to fill up my pockets. And yeah, we can go into the, the next next round. I think I'm going to start from uh, this doorway this time and we can begin the next round in three, two, one, and go, 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 go. Right, bombs away. Into the, the game we go. I'm going to try the, the same kind of strategy, but hopefully just do it a little bit better this time. I'm going to try and, and keep track of where the TNT is better. And oh, I saw him. I saw him. So there is another strategy you can do where you can kind of launch the TNT towards the other players. And I think that might have been kind of what happened to, to me in the, the last round. Uh, I think I kind of launched TNT back at myself, and that was where the, the, the real trouble started. And Fizzy and Polly, if you keep uh, uh, an eye on all of the, the end crystals, so you can be the, the judges in case it's uh, a close game uh, to, to work out which ones got blown up first. But there we go. I was able to, to blow up one of his end crystals, and oh, that's the other TNT place there. I don't think he's blown up. Oh, he's blown up one of mine, but not that side there, right? Who's is going to blow up first? They're both still up. And oh, there we go. I was able to, to win. I was able to win. I was able to blow up his end crystal before he blew up mine. Only just, though, once again, only a matter of seconds in it. But this is good, though. This means we get to, to have the, the, the final decider round. So whoever wins this round uh, between William Beaver and me uh, will be in uh, in third place. I love the way that we're playing all of this game, and it's only to be in third place. But <laughs> first 
third place is slightly better than fourth place, I guess. So uh, let's go and uh, reset all of the, the end crystals. And then this is going to be the, the final round I'm going to be playing today uh, before we go into the, the big grand final uh, with Polly Reindeer against Philly Ele uh, Fizzy Elephant. And I'm really curious to see who's going to win that round. I have no idea who is going to be better at this game. I honestly, like, I couldn't guess uh, who would be able to uh, to, to win out of the, the two. So that's going to be a, a really interesting final to, to see. So let's go and uh, grab the, the, the rest of the, the TNT that I needed. Uh, and then let's go and see if uh, William Beaver has uh, replaced the end crystals on his side. And it looks like he has. Right then, we will begin in three... Two, one, bombs away! Right, this time I'm going to go straight for William Beaver. Rather than going for the, the end crystals, let's see if I can actually take him out. And oh, he's charging right for me. Oh, look at that. That was very brave for him. And oh, I know where he's trying to, to go. Let's see if I can maybe uh, block him off a little bit. And whoa, steady on, steady on. I am very lucky to, to be alive. But I do kind of have William Beaver a little bit trapped. No, 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 no. I nearly launched the TNT at myself then. <laughs> this is... A really dangerous game. But, oh, there we go. I was able to, to hurt William Beaver there. Right, oh, he's charging through. Look at that. He was brave. He charged straight through all of my TNT. Can I maybe trap him here? And, oh, no. I think he's going to get the other side. <laughs> I'm the worst. I am the worst bombs away player in the world. <laughs> oh, dear. That, that couldn't have gone any worse, could it, Fizzy Elephant? That literally... Couldn't have gone any worse. Right, it's your turn to, to show us how it's done then, Fizzy Elephant, I guess. Oh, I got I got an apple for my efforts, though. That's uh, the good thing. So well done, William Beaver. <laughs> you were able to, to, to get the, the third place prize. You got onto the podium, bronze position. I got a bunch of carrots. <laughs> this is the round that matters, though. This is the exciting one. Not that that didn't matter, William Beaver, but this is the grand final. This is to see who is going to be the bombs away champion. Polly Reindeer against Fizzy Elephant. Two will enter, but only one will leave. Unless they blow up the end crystals, then they're both leave. Right, we'll begin in three, two, one, bombs away! And this is going to be so good, because this is going to be my my first time spectating. And uh, it's so good because I can see where everyone is. I want to be very careful not to, to give away to the, the other players what position they are in. I don't want to, to kind of say anything that's going to give things uh, away. I can kind of let people know how the, the end crystals are. And I kind of want to be careful because these end crystals are going to blow up and we are very close to them. And that's one end crystal down. And look how close it is. They're, they pretty much have the exact same strategy. Right, let's see. Oh, I can see. I need to see which end crystal blows up first. Right, uh, I'm kind of skipping between both of them. And oh, that was... Who was on that side? Who... who <laughs> <laughs> Who blew up that? I think this was Polly Reindeer. I think that was Polly Polly Reindeer. Were you on the the white side? Yeah, is that is that right? You on the white side? Okay, so that means that Polly Reindeer was able. Oh no. It was whoever was attacking this side. Whoever was attacking this side <laughs> was able to to win. So put your hand up if you were attacking the the white side. Put your hand up. Okay, Polly. So Polly Reindeer did win that round. Okay, I was right. So that's uh, one nil to, to Polly. So that means if Polly wins just one more round, then she is going to be the the champion. And oh, I don't have any um any more end crystals. I think someone uh, grabbed the grabbed the lot. So whoever's uh, got all of the the end crystals, uh, do you want to go and uh, oh, they're raining from the skies. Let's go and uh, and uh, all work to, together to go and reset the the game. So uh, yeah, if Fizzy Elephant wins this round, uh, we go to a final decider. Uh, if Polly wins this round, then she is the, the the outright champion uh, of the, the the entire game. Right, let's go up to the, the perch. Hopefully I'm not going to fall off uh, this time in excitement like I did last round. <laughs> and it looks like everything's uh, set up. So, uh, yeah, assuming uh, everyone's good to, to go, we will begin the next round in three, two, one, bombs away! Right, let's see if I can actually keep track of who's going where. So, <laughs> Busy Elephant's attacking that side, and uh, Polly is attacking this side. And oh, look, once again, look, they ran straight past each other. I think what they've done is they both watched me play, <laughs> and they worked out the strategy of actually trying to attack each other is a very bad idea, because you can accidentally blow yourself up. So, it uh, looks like... Um, Looks like Polly's uh, might be slightly ahead here by the looks of things. She was really speedy charging through there. And it looks like, yes, that means that Polly was able to, to win the round. Not too bad whatsoever. So that means the final score is that Polly is the overall champion. And uh, she won the... Um, 
She won the, the entire game. Fizzy Elephant uh, has come in uh, in second place. Uh, I know William Beaver was in third place and then <laughs> no surprise to anyone whatsoever. I was in uh, in last place. So right then, seeing as it's the, the end of the, the episode now anyway, how about we all just run in and just have a giant free for all and just try and attack each other with TNT? Yeah? <laughs> seeing as we're just going to respawn back here anyway, grab as much TNT as you want. Don't worry about grabbing 20 pieces of TNT. Grab it all. It doesn't matter. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go three, two, one. We all run in. The last one to, to be inside the, the, the maze at the end will be the winner. Right, three, two, one, bombs away! So this is just for fun. It doesn't really matter who wins this, and I'm just going to go crazy and place TNT. I know I'm probably going to be the, the one that blows up first anyway. I always am. <laughs> the thing is, placing TNT the way I do, it makes the TNT launch to me. Like, what you should do is kind of go like that and then like that and then back off because then that TNT is going to blast the other TNT in that direction. I don't know, maybe I'm trying to be too strategic here with the <laughs> blow everyone up game. And once you get taken out, uh, go up to, to one of the, the, the spectator perches so then we can go and uh, work out who's left. It's also starting to, to get a little bit dark as well and we can't have any torches in the game because they'll just get blown up anyway. So <laughs> there is a chance we'd get some googly spawning at all. I found William Beaver. Am I going to be able to track him down? Oh, there we go. I was able to, to trap him one Side. Can I trap on the other side? Oh no, that's a lot of TNT. Let's back off. Let's back off. And oh, William Beaver's right behind me. And oh, here's Fizzy Elephant as well. Oh, we're all together. <laughs> We've all got caught in the middle. Can I survive? I don't know how I was able to, to get away from all of that TNT. That I don't know whether anyone else survived as well. We all kind of seem to, to end up getting stuck right in the, the exact same place. And oh, Polly Ranger's been taken out. And oh, Fizzy's been taken out as well. But where? Where is William Beaver? Is he still in the, the maze somewhere? That's the big question. Oh no, he was taken out as well. So that means even though though I lost the, the actual game, in terms of just running around throwing TNT everywhere, I was able to, to win that game. <laughs> Oh dear. Anyway, that is the end of this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I think this game's really good fun. It's silly, it's stupid, it's explosive, but I think that just means we're going to have a good time playing it. <laughs> so that is the, the end of it here. There'll be, of course, a link in the description uh, to the, uh, the next episode once it's online. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!